Isaac, and I'm the executive director for the Ndoa Resource Center, a training organization that uh, empowers youths and women with the relevant skills that are vital to their positive development. Now, currently, we've been conducting trainings in uh, information and computer technologies and also introducing ICT as a tool for both social and economic development. So, we therefore address the various constraints challenges that are affected by the women and the youth with the integration of ICT. Therefore, we introduce ICT as a tool which can be used in the various sectors of development with regards to ICT in agriculture, ICT in health, ICT in the business enterprises, in the environment, in schools and everything else. Now, basically, we've been uh, looking at, uh, at programs that would, be, would enhance uh, youth and women accessibility to ICTs. Therefore, to start with, we've been running a couple of programs with the Provincial Youth Office that is uh, to do with uh, building capacity in provincial youth leaders, district youth leaders, and the various leaders within schools. Now, uh, the Ndoa Resource Center sits as the chairman for the provincial task team. Now, uh, in this position, it takes advantage to introduce ICT as a tool in the various districts and youth organizations within the Koba Belt province. So therefore, currently it has, been, it has run activities and trainings within its place, its premises, to these youth leaders and youth organizations, where ICT is introduced as a tool, as I said earlier on, as a tool for both social and economic development. Because the reason being, many people out there have regarded ICT as a professional kind of a, 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 a tool, but therefore we are there to introduce it as a tool whereby every person, regardless of their career, professional background, should use it to enhance and accelerate their area of work with its integration. So basically this is what the Ndua Resource Center does and its establishment.